Alright, so in this video we are going to uh, draw out the spine and build our rig from there on. Uh, you'll notice from the last video we had our leg joints uh, become the child of our pelvis root here and you see that new segments are created when you parent you put this as a child, you parent it to the pelvis now we're going to build the spine right mouse button go to the right side view let's go to skeleton create joints uh, I want it to you know snap to the grid so I hold X left mouse button here and I hold X and put it up there sweet and press Q to commit that notice that I draw from the bottom going up so now we have our joint chain here our spine chain here and let's just press W and I want it to snap to where my pelvis is so this is my root joint I want it to snap to here I hold V and with the mouse button there so it'll snap down there sweet exactly like that right the next thing we're going to learn is our new tool which is called the insert joint tool so let's go back to the right view you can use a perspective view for this but I find that this is much better to do alright so we go to skeleton there's this option says uh, insert joints so I'm gonna select that and let's go back to our joint that we created for the spine earlier I want to place it somewhere around here and you'll see when I do that it will snap to that joint that we created earlier right down the same uh, axis and I'll say I want to place it here right where that edge loop is so that will become uh, my root joint okay and let's just keep on going and I'll add another one for the chest and I will say the chest uh, uh, so, sorry that was a back so I'll say you know, this would be the chest so I do the same thing and drag it up so that will become the chest and we're right about at the neck here so I'll click that again while still having my insert joint tool there and that will become my neck and I want because you know we have more resolutions here, more edge loops. So I say you know we'll have two uh, joints for the neck, like so. And then finally, we're going to complete this and say um, let's have one last one for the head. So I click it one more time, and that will become my head joint. Now, if, even if you know the placements are not correct, and I'll press Q first to commit that. Even though it's, you know, it might not be correct. You can, you know, you can always change it by actually selecting one of these and press D to uh, hold W, press D and uh, to go into pivot mode, and then you can change the placement of stuff like so. So I press D, goes into change pivot mode, so you can change the placement of all these joints later on so you know you can do that still right um let's see now there are some parts that could be tweaked perhaps and i will say you know let's look at it from the perspective view all right so yeah that was that felt too high for me because you know um all right one way of doing it is you can actually just turn this to reference in the layer editor and perhaps switch on wireframe on shaded because we want to see where that you know because this one here that's supposed to be the chest joint you know if you want to rotate the chest down so instead of being here perhaps it could be moved a bit lower so I'm gonna choose that and press D and let's just bring that down a bit somewhere here perhaps yeah that feels much better and that's the neck and let's just commit that 
Let's go to right view and have a look. Mm, that's the back. That's the chest. That's the neck. That's the head. The head can be a bit lower. So I'll say select this, press D, and bring it down a bit. Select this, uh, press D, bring it down a bit. And then press Q to exit that. That seems kind of okay. Uh, maybe I can tweak it a bit more. Press W, press D, bring it down. Yep. A bit more. Okay, this is okay. And let's just change it back to wireframe by clicking this and turning it into template. And let's just switch off that. Um, let's go back to perspective view and have a look at it. Alright, this looks kind of okay. And the next thing we need to do, of course, is to rename all these joints, starting with joint 1. So I'm going to call this, since this is my root, it's the... Um, you know it's the start of everything and I will call that bind underscore root zero one press enter and then let's go on to the next one this will be my backbone where you know to rotate it go back and forth so I will call this in fact I can just copy it so I'll copy this select that one paste that in and that will become my back back zero one and let's just select the next one. This would be my chest. Select that, paste, and that will be called, be renamed as chest 01. Sweet. Uh, let's move on. This would be these two here are the neck joints. So I'm going to select the first one, paste that in. Now, with the neck joints, it's going to be a bit different. Whereby, yes, it will be called neck. But I think a better way to rename this is rather than putting 02, I'll name it A01. <laughs> and you'll see, I'm going to copy this. And that means these two joints are unique. So this will become B instead of 02. So you have neck A01, neck B01. Um, just for better practice, you know, it's a good practice. And finally, we have this one and that will be called vine uh, not neck it's the head that will be called head zero one and we have that one last joint so i'm gonna copy all that so at this joint here that will be named since it w is the end of our uh, chain i'll call that be head zero one vine head zero one be head zero one all right uh everything's Starting to look good. Uh, let me just see. Oh, maybe I should change that to this. Alright, uh, and finally, let's do the whole thing with the parenting. So I know this was my chain, the root. That needs to be placed inside the skeleton. So I'm going to set this, put it into skeleton. So I set the bind root control and select the skeleton group press P so it will be placed in the same group here because it is the root so the pelvis here needs to be a child of that root so I'm going to select the pelvis control and select the root and hit P on my keyboard and therefore whenever I select the root that will be the main root that selects all of my rig like so Alright, it's starting to look okay and we'll continue in the next video.